Welcome back to Dashtune Studio. In the past couple of videos, we explored how to fix characters, their dresses, and their hands. In this video, we'll go over how to fix the backgrounds of the generated panels. While you can always use the in-paint generation method to edit the background by regenerating the image with a mask and a prompt, there are also a couple of other tools in Dashtune Studio that we'll explore in this video. In this panel, the reflection in the mirror isn't correct. It shows the reflection of a strange character that we want to remove. If there are any artifacts or odd elements in the background that you want to eliminate, you can use the Magic Erase tool. Select Magic Erase from the left toolbar and paint over the areas you want to remove. In this case, we'll paint over the figure in the mirror. Once we've covered the character, click on the Magic Erase button in the contextual menu for the tool to remove it. After the correction is made and the image is regenerated, click Accept to update your panel. In another panel, we previously recreated an image of our character on the phone. Now we want to create a depth of field effect by blurring just the background while removing a person in the background. We'll start by duplicating the frame where we want the blur effect. You can do this by holding Alt and dragging the frame or by copying and pasting the frame. Next, we'll use the Remove Background tool from the left toolbar on the original frame to isolate our character. The Remove Background tool is an easy way to extract characters from any panel. Once the character is extracted and the background is removed, we'll switch to the second frame. Click on the second frame to select it. Go to the Settings tab in the right panel. Initially, you'll see the settings for the entire frame. Click on the frame in your editor again to select the image inside. The settings in the right panel will now change to image settings. Under the blur option, increase the intensity to achieve the desired blurriness. Finally, double click on the first frame to select the extracted character. Drag it out of the first frame and place it into the frame with the blurred background. After placing your character back into the blurred frame, you might notice an extra character in the background that looks out of place. Use the Magic Eraser tool again to remove this character and clean up any other inconsistencies. Now, you can see that we have a more polished image with the character in focus and a background with more depth than the original image. Feel free to experiment with all the tools that Dashtune Studio has to offer. You can edit the background using the in-paint generation method, remove artifacts with magic erase, and apply image filters to achieve a background that enhances your dash tune. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on how to use Dashtune Studio to bring your creative visions to life.